Whitlock, you have an issue with NBA players targeting Lonzo because of his pops, LeVar. I hate to say this because I'm going to sound soft, but I think they should cut him some slack. Man, you sound, no. No. That, you sound soft. Yeah, I know. <laughs> LeVar is... Lonzo's not... Shouldn't be so strongly connected to his dad. I, if... if I would cut him some slack. I, I would be like, LeVar's outside of Lonzo's control. I, I'm not... I, I'm gonna let that go. I feel bad. I feel bad for the kid that there's this target on his back over his dad. This is what, this is what happened to Tebow. This, you know how frats have initiation week? <clears throat> Pro sports have initiation years. It's called your rookie year. <laughs> They go out, Manziel was too cocky, Tebow was too popular, Reggie Bush was too flashy. Uh, this is how pro sports works. The players always look for extra motivation. What did Michael Jordan used to do? Remember LeBradford Smith? He scored 37 <laughs> yes. on Jordan one night, and Jordan made up this story that he mocked me. Hey, nice game, Mike. Jordan came out, scored 36 on him in the first half the next <laughs> game. And then he told people, you know what, I made that story up for some extra motivation. So they're always looking for a reason to get even more amped up to go at you. I'm going to say this. I think unwittingly, LeVar has done Lonzo a favor. Because guys are going at him so hard that it's going to make him better. It's going, look, you look at what happened in the first game. First game, Patrick Beverly goes at him hard, embarrasses him. Lonzo learns from it. The only way you get better is to play against better people. Lonzo learns from it. He gets more aggressive. Instead of taking six shots, he takes 27. And he got aggressive against the worst team in the league. <laughs> hey, it's apart, an NBA team, yeah, my man. I, I can't it's believe, an NBA team. I can't believe I'm going after Lon. I mean, seriously, this is LeVar. LeVar's the problem. He created this. You know, it would go away if he shuts up. If LeVar Ball shut up for two weeks, how this all go away? Though? Well, it's, it's, it's ruining it's Lonzo. The, really? Oh, my gosh. It's so He's bad. He's almost averaging a triple-double. Okay. The, the positives are the Lakers are, have the fifth most TV games in the league. The spotlight's on Lonzo. However, do you want John Wall coming in saying, I'm going to destroy you? I am going to torture this guy? That's what John Wall's thinking. And guess what? Kyle Lowry's thinking that the next game. And, hell, Matthew Dellavedova of the Bucks. <laughs> even guys on wait, that wait, level wait. are going to get in Lonzo's head. It's, he's a target right now. That's what he, I feel thing, bad though. for the kid. Coaches used to tell me with Earl Boykins. Remember Earl Boykins 5-5? Yeah, yeah, five, yeah. five, that if a, team, if a point guard said, I'm going to post him all night, the team wanted that because that gets you out of your strategy. That's not usually what you do. So if John Wall's like, I'm going to put 45 on this kid, that might not be the best thing for the Wizards. Good point. Because it gets him out of playing his game as a real point guard and getting Chris, other guys why involved. Can't, why can't LeVar just let his son's game speak for itself? But so honestly, why can't he just do that? But Man, my kid's put up a near triple-double. I'll back he off. Just, and he, you, that's his person. He's you know? obsessed. But, you know, yeah. hasn't, hasn't the knock on, you know, LeVar has lived kind of a suburban life. It's not, you Lonzo. know. Lonzo. Lonzo, yeah. right, right. The knock on him has been is he's a little physically soft. To Chris's point, <laughs> it's almost like a iron quarter. Iron sharpens iron. It, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think there's something to be said. He is going to, he is going to be, let me tell you something. With pro athletes, humiliate him. They rebound. They work hard. He's going to be if humiliated. If he's got it in him, if he's got it in him, which we think he does, then he's going to respond positively. We're gonna, I, we're I, I just wouldn't, if I'm Lonzo, I'm just not comfortable with this, the discussion about his father. And I know his father has done this. He's made himself a discussion point among media and fans and players. I get that. LeVar did that. He wants that. I just don't think it's good overall or best for Lonzo. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy. And his personality doesn't seem to be anything like his dad's. I wouldn't be happy with my father just being a talking right. point okay. constantly. But if that's my true, career. he didn't have to be on that reality show. Yeah. He signed for it. I think he likes his dad. I mean, no, no, I, I think he I, really connects with his dad. But at what point, Colin, does he say, okay, dad, that's enough? He's turning 20 years old here in a couple days. Like, he's a pro now. Dad, you got me here. Can, can you cut the cord a little bit and just let me stand on my own? Why isn't he doing that? He may Go never focus do, on your he, other brother. He may not do that. I, I think, though, growing up with his dad talking all this trash, I think that has created in him something where he won't get psyched out by the big stage because he's always had to live up to his dad running his mouth. And he's been able to do it, so I don't think anything will phase him. This uh, terrible analogy, but I, I just... I ha These Hollywood parents and Hollywood relationships with their kids, 
The, the ending is generally pretty predictable. It, it, it doesn't end well. Uh, and, and these... Now, look, in sports, we've had Richard Williams, and it seemed to have worked with his two daughters, with Serena and Venus, but... but is that the only one? I mean, it, Tiger and Earl Woods? It's for individual and, sports. But sports aren't like movies where you're off for nine months, you know, the devil's playground's idle time. Lonzo's going to be playing for seven months and training for four. He'll stay busy. He'll stay out of trouble. This smells like Joe Jackson to me a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm with Colin, and I think he likes his dad, but it is interesting to watch, to see three years from now, two years from now, does something come out? Is there a split? You know, we have to wait and see. All right.